Hey kiddos, I wanted to share a quick funny story about each of you, one about Vivian and one about Lincoln. Um, so one of my jobs as a dad is to be a disciplinarian. That doesn't always mean like, that doesn't always mean time out or, or being firm. Um, it, it can take a lot of different forms. So for example, um, times that you guys were angry um, what I tried to do was, well, I'll start with Vivian. Uh, what seemed to work with her is that I would remove her from the situation. If something was really bothering her or frustrating her, I would take her to another room. And sometimes just getting out of that situation really seemed to help her. And So I'd kneel down or sit down and get on her level and, and ask her what she's feeling um, and try to get her to vocalize it. And I would say, what's I would ask her what's causing it, um, and then we would try to work through a solution together. Um, just help her to be more analytical, and so she knew what was going through her mind and, and what to do with certain emotions. Um, but sometimes, <laughs> sometimes her anger was just kind of funny, um, really funny, actually, and... Um, I'm thinking of one time in particular where um, when she was, I think, maybe two, uh, Vivian, you were you were huge into airplanes, and um, we had, you love the movie Planes, and we, we had most of the, the figures. We had Dusty, we had El Chupacabra, we had most of them, uh, if not all of them, and you had misplaced one of them. And I think I was working on a on on a paper or something, and you said, "Dad, Dad, airplane." I said, "Hold, well, hold on, I'll help you find it in a minute." And um, I kept working on the paper, and just a few moments later, again, you go, "Dad, airplane, where's my airplane?" And I said, "Hold on, I'm almost done, and then we'll look for it." And then a couple of moments later, again, you just start screaming. You go, "Airplane!" airplane and there was <laughs> there's like a piece of trash on the floor like a like a paper towel and you picked it up and you were going is this an airplane is this an airplane like in my face <laughs> and I just I think I actually fell on the floor laughing um and then <laughs> And then you started laughing, and uh, I don't know if we ever found that stupid airplane. <laughs> um, but I got a good laugh out of it. and Well, we both got a good laugh out of it. And then, so with Lincoln, um, he would do this thing. Buddy, you would do this thing where, um, like, every time I went to get you out of the car, you would just, you'd just start slapping the crap out of me. Like, I'd go to undo your... Your, your car seat and you would just and just I mean you'd scratch my face up and I I didn't know what to do with that at first um I mean as a parent you you learn a lot of things on the fly and I mean I thought well you know I can I can I could spank him but that kind of like what is that doing hey I'm gonna hit you <laughs> because you're hitting me I mean that it, it just sort of uh, I, I, I just didn't think that would register with that, that, that kind of discipline didn't seem to make sense. So I had to be creative and I didn't want you to hit. So I would, um, I was like, well, let, let me substitute it with something else. I mean, I think one, one good thing to do as a parent, instead of just saying, no, don't do that is instead we're going to, I'm going to give you this other thing to do. Um, and that, I think that's biblical, uh, you know. The Bible talks about that. Paul talks about um, if we're putting off certain behaviors, we need to be putting on new ones. It's like we're taking off dirty clothes and, and we're clothing ourselves with, with clean stuff. Um, and so instead of just telling you not to do that, I would actually, I, every time you hit me, I would physically grab your hands and sometimes I would have to let you do it. So I could say no and I'd grab your hands and I'd, I'd rub them on my face and I would say, nice nice <laughs> um i'd let go and then you'd hit me again i go no and grab your hands i go nice and i mean we did that i don't know for, for a long time it took a while and then one day um 
several months later, we were at Chick-fil-A and um, you were trying to go up the slide like, like you always did. And um, there was a, there was a girl that had come down the slide and, and she was sitting there and you couldn't go up the slide. And so <laughs> you just started wailing on her, just, just smacking her. <laughs> And thankfully, her parents weren't around. And so I saw you smacking her. I said, Lincoln! And you looked at me. And then you looked at the girl. And you started rubbing her face going, nice. Nice. <laughs> and so, well, you know, finally, it, it worked. You were, you were learning what to do with your hands that we don't hit. That we're, we're you know, we, we try to be gentle. And we don't take our anger out on people in that way. Um, but anyway, those were two, uh, quick, funny stories I want to share with you guys. So, uh, anyway, Lincoln, I hope you're being nice. Hope you're not slapping anybody. And Vivian, I hope you're not throwing trash in people's face, screaming at them. Um, but anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon, hopefully.